Hey, brothers and sisters of Christ, y'all. I'm going to run some past y'all. <laughs> a few things I ran into. Okay, um. You know what? The Lord just told me, he said, we got to keep running this race, y'all. He's telling me, say, I got to keep running this race. And the only way we can keep running this race is we have to seek his face. Only way we'll stand is in the Lord, y'all. I'll come here and tell y'all something else. The Lord got me in this. He said we got to stay in the race, y'all. And you know, he got me again with that song, Rejoice. And he told me a word this morning. I told y'all, he told me, he said, many things come in my way. I got to stay in his face and rejoice. Continue to rejoice even in doing, and don't be worried in doing good. Because there's so much coming, y'all. We got to understand there's going to be persecution coming. It's on its way. It's already here. It's knocking on the door. Because we ain't taking this. He keeps telling us to understand persecution coming. Some people are going to get beheaded. Some people are going to be in prison. Some people are going to get in jail, going to get fines. They are already trying to control over your bank system. Things are happening quickly. And this is why God said he have to do destruction on this earth. Because too much evil. And he keep allowing, if he don't do what he's doing and uh, people don't turn to it, see his face, it's going to continue to go and go and go and it's going to be worse than y'all. Sorry, y'all. I hate doing that, but I hate getting up and back and forth when I'm trying to get y'all a word. <coughs> and he had told me a while back he doing exposing. He exposing and he destroying y'all. God is never. God is the same today, tomorrow, to today, yesterday. God is the same. He never changed. While back, while back, Lord was telling us he was. He told me he was saying he was just exposing and destroying. So all these things God doing, he exposing, he destroying. He destroying all wickedness and evil. Sorcerers, witchcraft, all this stuff. He even tells about astrology and stargates, gazers. These are different gods, these are different kingdoms, y'all. The Lord said, every knee will bow and every mouth will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. He all friend to the end. No matter what come our way, y'all, he's still going to take care of us, even through in the midst of persecution. Even though they throw these things at us and trying to force people to bow down to the mark of the beast, God said, do not bow. You don't bow to, not, you don't bow to nobody but him. He's a jealous God. He said there's consequences of sin allowing men. He calling people to repent. He said these things have to go on the earth because he have to destroy wickedness. Everything in wickedness and some sin is a sin and some sin leads to death. He said people even, because you know the hard part is also when the Lord brings us when he's destroying kids, y'all. But God say he have to do this because wickedness. People bring their kids in wickedness. And God have to do some things. Even remember he told us a word back long, I mean, way down. And he said some stuff is a, some sin is a sin and some sin will lead to death. And he'll do things to us to line us up. He'll have to take some things from people. It, you, it's it's further how far you want to go. We're not going, we're not coming to the Lord. That's how further he'll, that's far he'll go. Just like with Satan. How far Satan go to the Lord though It's a battle So some things he'll do to get people attention And you'll never know Some people be in car accidents Some people you know get paralyzed Some God does things to get people attention <coughs> He do He said He said when he get through Everybody I will be set up on him Everybody will seek his face. Everybody's face will turn to the Lord. They will seek his face. He do it. He will do everything to get their attention. 
Because some people, he warn and warn and warn, and they don't listen. He said, don't get caught up in this wrath. Some people idolize their kids. They idolize their husband. They idolize their wives. They idolize everything except for the Lord. He said, it's my mighty destruction all on this way. Everybody will seek his face. Even the wicked. He already told us these gods, people worshiping their gods, and these evil puppet masters, these evil doers, all these, these kingdoms, these Satan and these demons and all this stuff. They don't have no power of the Lord. The Lord even destroying them. And they know it. That was Satan know he's coming fast. You see all the stuff come quick because he know God God on his way back. He know. He's trying to get how many souls he can. See, Satan seeking like a uh, Lord already told us. Satan seeking like a uh, roaring lion. Going to and forth seeking who he can devour. And he, Got so many people they lost in the world. God trying to get everybody's attention. So he's going to do have to do what he got to do to get their attention, to get their eyes on him. But God said he destroyed, he exposed it. And this is what the Lord told me. The only way he, he had said that, you know, people seek his face and he'll heal the land. He said the only way he's going to heal this land is what he going to do. To put people face back to him. To heal the land. Because people ain't listening to the Lord. He gave us this land. He created this land. The Lord. The Most High is Father. That he gave us this land. This is all belongs to him. He said this all belongs to me. He said didn't I tell you this earth will fade away? Everything on this earth will fade away. Even us. Everything will fade away. Satan all of it will fade away. He said, this earth will fade away. Everyone will see my face. They will see his face. They, even on judgment, they're going to see his face. Everybody's going to see his face. He said, oh, wait for that great day when everyone will see my face. Judgment day, y'all. And then God come, the second coming of the Christ. And then I seen... Then I seen when they was having people was having their children baptized by uh thank you Lord. This is what I want to bring to y'all. The Lord wants me to share with y'all too. I'm gonna put the links at the bottom. The Lord brought this back to me. <coughs> I seen when Pope Francis was baptizing people kids, right? Then I typed up baptizing people kids. I seen some popes was people were baptizing people kids killed them. Baptizing. Because y'all don't see this spirit behind these. And God was telling me these were his chosen kids. That some of these popes had ended up killing these kids. These was chosen children from the Lord and they destroyed them. Kill the kids. I don't even see none of these popes or nothing. I don't even know if they went to jail or nothing. Baptized people the kids. Started, I seen one with just putting the people kids like this. In the water, drowning people kids, y'all. It's a spirit behind this. Y'all gotta understand this. So, then the Lord brought me back to this Buster Rhyme video that he showed me a couple of years ago. I'm gonna put the link. Buster Rhyme video, y'all, about the Pope. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. But it's not the Pope Francis, but it, it was this priest. It was a Pope. But I'm, I'm, it's meaning to it. So, I'm gonna put it in there. About the kids, too. So, the Lord brought this back to me when he told me about when I seen by Pope Francis baptizing people's children. So I typed up, because also somebody put in the comments talking about, uh, about the Pope's killing people, children or something. And I already know the Lord has showed me that a long time ago because I seen it. But the Lord brought it back to me when they ran it to me, showing, when he showed me about Pope Francis baptizing people, kids, children. I'm saying children because kids like goats. So then the Lord brought it to me when he showed me that. I'm typing up there because I was trying to get the link and give it to y'all. And I, I and then I popped up people, children that died to these priests that baptized the children and the children that died. Because God told me, he said, these was his chosen children. These, everybody in front of the Lord, these priests, they was killing these people, kids, because these was chosen children by the Lord. Then the Lord took me to the Buster Rhyme video, brought it back to me. He didn't take me to it, but he brought it back to me in my, in my spirit, in my mind. He said, 
Go look at that Busta Rhyme video. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm going to go look at it again because he bringing it back to me. Thank you, Lord. He said he didn't expose in season and destroying all evil. So he's been bringing me about that. Then he told us about the priest and he told us about royalty. Then, look, I got up on here this morning. I'm going to show y'all. They released emails exposing uh, Sean Fawcett, concealed leak emails about he knew about the stuff. The man made laugh. Yeah, because they're all together. The Lord told me in the first beginning, all this together. The Lord had told me all these, they work together with China. They behind the scene working with China. They all working together. Because look at China doing this one world order. They all they all follow the scene. The Lord told me this right when this when this COVID stuff happened. I told one of my um uh, one of like my play sisters I would do I do a hair. Um and I was telling and showing her all this stuff and she was like, she didn't even know that. But yeah, the Lord told me way back then, they all working on this together. It's all it's all man made. They working all of it together. And China started out first, because then China already, they all together. China, he started, they started out first. They started little by little. Now they all, now I, they all fall together. Remember the Lord brought to our attention about the land, told us about all these ten nations together with the banks. God been told me this, about this. He That's when he told me all that with uh, Babylon was America. But he didn't release me to say nothing then. I got all kind of notes, but whenever he bring it to me, then they bring it to me. But they all working together. That's why Fauci, 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 whatever his name, they, they knew. They all knew. Trump, all of them, they knew. Because they all it's all about kingdom and power. That's why God told me don't put no trust in no man. I ain't with no president. My master, the Lord Jesus Christ. My, my father stands the most high. His son, I mean, the, the father and his son, Jesus Christ. That's my master. God already told me they all work together. Even though they, you know, you got some good in people, but then you got some bad in people. Because Trump did some things, but God said he allowed these things to happen. Excuse me, y'all. Even with Trump, he allowed him to have it as the capital. But the thing is, y'all got to understand, these are antichrists. All of them. Trump did a good thing named as the capital because God allowed him. He worked through them. Because let me tell you what God told me about Trump when he, when he allowed Trump to be president. The Lord told me Trump is the last trumpet to be blown for people to come back to him. He allowed Trump, and he told me, he said, Trump is a, 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 a trumpet blown for people to come back to the Lord. And all of a sudden now, all this started happening, the virus, all that. It was, he told me Trump, that what Trump was. The last trumpet to be blown for people to come back to the Lord before all this happened. Trump was the last trumpet to be blown before all this happened. He already told me all this stuff was coming. He already, I already told y'all, he told me about the New World Order was coming. And I told it to some years in 2020, and I told it to somebody, and they told me, I'll, I'll, let's pray against this. But God told me we couldn't pray against it. He said, this will going to be done. I ain't have to pray against it, because God told me it was going to happen. He said, people still praying now. Thinking things going to change it around. It ain't, because people, too, they too far for sin, too much evil. It's too far gone. We had a, you got to understand, we're in revelations. We just keep praying and praying and praying to keep us covered as we go, because God give us these things to keep praying. But God will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's why he have me now to keep saying it. Lord, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because God will going to be as God will. It's going to happen. So people always, they follow these gods and following people. And they mad at people and all this. God let all this happen. God in control. He already told me about with Trump. Because I was, to be honest with you, I was like, okay, Hillary Clinton. Because I told you I was up into vote too. I was like, okay, Hillary Clinton. And then the Lord told me, I said, when Trump won, then the Lord told me, he said, because Trump was the last Trump to be blown, because he already told me all this stuff was going to come for people to get it right. Then I had come the virus, all this gang thing, all this happened. <coughs> and this when the Lord had me to stop voting. Told me stop voting. Cut it off. Told me don't vote no more. He said, because he the God. He, I mean, he said, these people ain't your God, I'm your master. So I have to be obedient to the Lord. So a lot of stuff the Lord cut me out of. Television. I have to be obedient. Got me walking, eating certain stuff. I'll probably be thin as a mule. But okay, even some stuff I try to force to eat, he don't even have me have no taste for it no more. I, he to cut it off for me. Got me on a strict little thing. I got to eat. So y'all see me just thin. It is what it is. Because I got to be obedient. Because now, also, things happening with foods. 
He showed me some stuff with some with food. But remember, I told y'all he showed me something on the YouTube was talking about a food. And then the Lord brought back to me when I told you I went to the grocery store and, and why wow, one pack of meat was spoiled and one fruit was rotten. And they wasn't when I went there. And I said, That's that ain't that ain't normal. Why just one pack of meat and one one fruit? Because God was telling me about food. So he got us limited also with food, y'all. Because there's certain stuff happening. Everybody wanna play God. They creating this false food, all this stuff. Even seen that talking about um somebody even talking about and they and they know they ain't telling the story because I looked at what the Lord was telling me about food back then. They even turned human meat. You think you ain't accountable, but you turn accountableistic because you eat a human in food they creating all this stuff they selling at these stores. They gonna be out of food sooner or later. Cannibalistic, devil witchery, witches. They do that all the time. I seen something the man was showing me on I mean on YouTube. The Lord was showing me. Some girl talking about when she was, uh, they had brought her up in a cult. And she was getting uh, molested by the witches and all the high people that you think these governors and stuff, they are doing on the ground. Had, had, doing molesting the people, witchcraft, molesting the girl, everything. Even doing some of the kids, kidnapping, killing them and, and, and grinding them up. That was God ain't pleased with this stuff. He sees stuff that we don't see. He alerting us. They grind and killing kids, grinding them up and cooking them. Y'all know that the truth, because then sometimes you see back on some of the stuff people still doing it now. Killing and, and cooking people on the pots and stole eating cannibalists. They grinding them up in food and stuff. Having artificial pigs and all this stuff, all kind of stuff going on. God even got me limited with food. And I'm going to keep on walking with the Lord. Be obedient. All kind of stuff God protecting us from, y'all. Got to get back to them days. That's why he got us into fasting and stuff. You ain't going to have to be, because soon later going to be stuff. They already tell me I ain't going to have you to buy food instead of all uh, God told us stock up. I told you he told me about medicine. Now look at this about the medicine. Had me at the store. At the time I told you I said I had to go stack up on medication. But this is what I wanted to bring to y'all. Because the Lord got me up into this. And I was trying to come tell y'all about with uh, this email about Dr. Fossey, a Fauci. They had found him. Now to see if they're going to persecute him. They ain't going to do it. <coughs> But let that be no Trump or somebody. They go all against Trump. Oh, yeah, let me tell you. See how the Lord bringing Trump in. Thank you, Dad. Then I seen this. I ran. And uh, China, I'm going to put the link at the bottom. China, they rather, they further deep in strategy partnership with Iran. And guess what? Iran, they threatening America. U.S., US United States of America because they want Trump. And you, you can go get Trump if you want to get Trump. You ain't got to threaten us, but this is all in they working together. Using Trump as a uh, a thing. Saying they're against Trump, but really we know Biden all over. They're all together in this up under the bottom. These 10 nations, they all working together. China, Iran, God told me already. Uh, these Some of these nations I wrote down, who all of them in there together. Iran was one of them. Got on a piece of paper. Greece, Germany, all them. They, they all in this together, them ten nations. The Lord revealed to us, they all working together. But using Trump as talking about they, that's why they coming this way. No, they ain't why they coming this way. They all working together. They come this way. It can be a war. Because you, you can go get Trump as you can. Talking about they got the inside people on this side of America working with them. I guess the Iran people or something. It's all kind of stuff, y'all. Like I said, I just hear a little bit of it. And I don't go too deep into it. The Lord just let me hear enough and I'm out of it. So I don't even review the whole videos, but I'm putting it down for y'all so y'all can review them. That's what I love about Trump in my life. Now I'm talking about Trump again, y'all. But Dr. Fossey, emails. He had covered up the leaks. Trump knew too. All of them knew. Nobody said, I don't authorize none of them. They all knew because it's a plan of the enemy. They all working together. It's all about power. We don't trust nobody but the Lord. I'm telling y'all, I don't trust. I ain't. My, I walk thinly. I don't trust number the Father, the Most High, Lord up there, and His Son Jesus Christ. Cause this, you can't trust nobody. Putting your trust in man, and man, man, help. So just expect that y'all. Trump did some good. God allowed him, cause he he do. But we gotta understand, just like uh, the irresponsible shepherds. God say people, they'll start off walking with the Lord, but then they get into greed. 
Like I said, Trump, he had, he, I liked him. I, I ain't going to say I liked him. Yeah, I got like something, but I ain't got to love him. I cut, I had cut for him because, the only reason I cut for him, because he was bold, strong, and courageous. Because that's what the Lord was telling us to be, telling me at that time to be. Bold, strong, and courageous. He was bold. He was strong, courageous. And, and then he wasn't, you know, it just, but I don't know. Because I don't, hey, I just, just things the Lord showed me. I, I God was just telling me through him that I just, just looked at him. That's how I should be, uh, how we should be walking as Christians. Bowls, not Christians. Lord, let me get that out of my mouth. Because you know you said, don't say Christian. As uh, true believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, walking in the Lord with the Lord Jesus Christ, being followers of Jesus Christ, being his saints, that's how we should walk. Because that's what God had told me. He said, you have to be bold, strong, and courageous. That's how he was, bold, strong, and courageous. So that's why I just paid attention to him because God was teaching me something by watching him. That's how we should be. That's what we. That's how we're going to have to continue to walk because that's what God was telling me. This is how I have to walk. Be bold, strong, and courageous because when the mark of the beast comes, all this system stuff, that's how we have to be. Saints of the Most High God, walking for the Lord Jesus Christ, we got to be bold, strong, and courageous. Because I didn't really pay attention too much what that man did anyway. To tell you the truth, because God had me out of that. All I knew, he just said Israel was capped. I ain't know nothing else. To tell you the truth. I don't be into all that. I just know God told me politics was in the Bible, but he ain't got me all into all that because he told me not to follow me. In. But I just know he made that the capital. Israel, and it was a reason why I'm making Israel the capital. But uh, I didn't get into all that because I don't worship no man. I worship the Lord. <coughs> but yeah, I'm gonna put the Buster Rhyme video at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna put it at the bottom about Iran and how they threaten the U.S. and how they come together with China, and then how this confirmed with Fauci. Know about God always told me these people all they all together they knew about this stuff because they all planned it. It's man made. They know it's all they planned all this to come out so they could do all this as one world this one world order. They all together, but God exposing. He destroying. He exposing him right now. He gonna keep on exposing more and he gonna destroy him. Look, Lord, I, I, you know I ain't threatening nobody, but He said killing people, kids, and everything. I'm reading the word of the Lord. I ain't saying it's gonna happen today, kids, because you know I don't I don't do that. But I'm just saying God say he's doing a lot of stuff on this earth. Every knee will bow. Just not them. He's talking about all of us. If we everybody. Who are he say you are you are in the world, you against him. Anybody, you are enemy. Anybody go against the word of the Lord Jesus Christ, the most high the son, the holy Bible, you go against him, you're an enemy. And you go against any of it, you is enemy. That's why they out there guns. They with straddling the fence. One end word. I believe this part out of the Bible, but I don't believe this. But the Bible fulfilling itself right in front of your face. Everything the word of the Lord say, the Holy Bible, fulfilling your, fulfilling itself right in front of your face. So he say, anything you out there, you an enemy. So he had to tell my seeing that he told people to call back to him. They out there. They going some people gonna keep on coming slowly by slowly because they 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 prideful. They mind, they still out there. They ain't listening. But he going to say every knee will bow. Y'all, he already told us this stuff steady happening. It's going to continue to happen. But I just want to run past this stuff, y'all. I got on here to tell y'all about this. But the Lord, y'all, seek the Lord, not men. Have your relationship with the Lord. Y'all, let me read this right here. I just opened my book right here in my face. And I'm going to read it. God telling me to look down. Let me read this right here. Here we go. I will shake heaven and earth. I will overthrow the throne of kingdoms. With an S. I will destroy the strength of the Gentile kingdoms. I will overthrow the chariots. I will... And those who ride in them. Who ride in them. Who ride not with them. He gonna overthrow the chariots and who ride in them. The horses and their riders should come down. Everyone by the sword of the bro of his brother. Yeah, I just had to get y'all right quick. Lord, tell them look down. I didn't even know that was on there. But God said he gonna overthrow. He coming, y'all. He will shake heaven and earth. He's shaking. Well, y'all, I had to get this to y'all. 
I'm going to give y'all that scripture right there too. Let the Lord say it. And I'm going to put some of this stuff at the bottom, y'all. Y'all, I'm going to put, put that about that on. I'm going to go in order. I'm going to put about the, uh, about the, well, y'all know about the priest. I ain't got to say But I'm going to put the bust rhyme thing on there. And I'm going to put all this about Iran and just breaking news. This just happened today on the email about uh, release the email of uh, Sean uh, Fauci. The lab, the uh, lab leak cover up confirmed. People already know. Hillary Clinton had emails hidden. Why they ain't releasing none of these people emails? All kind of stuff, y'all. God exposing season, y'all. It's too much going on. All of them. Because it's all about pride. You never know the heart of these people. It's all of them. Everything. It's. Y'all. God know the heart of people. I ain't going to say all of them. Probably have a. I don't know, you Lord. I ain't even going to speak on them. Shoot. Everybody done went up in there. I don't know. They they got rid of that. What's that one long time ago? That president. They got rid of him. They killed him. Kennedy. They they kill off the ones they don't want. And then you know what? The Lord brought in my spirit too. Y'all know we was talking about royalty. And I said, at the end, the Lord had me talking about Princess Diane. I said, that was a beautiful woman. I said, Lord, I don't even know what happened to that woman. So I started looking on some of that stuff and seeing her, um, how they had, like, back in the days, they were doing uh, interviews and just see how humble this woman was. In one interview, I seen this woman, and she was like, how they didn't want her into royalty. It opened my eyes, made me feel like maybe they got this woman killed or something. If I get that link again, I'm going to share it to y'all because the woman was like, they was like, do, uh, 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 do you feel like you royalty or something? And she said, no. She said, because... I don't go against, I don't follow into their rules or something. And she said, um, because I'm here to love love the people. Like, she wants to love the people. So it was something, the Lord, he gave me that, 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 that little thing, popped up on my thing with that woman. And it made me think about the royalty in them. I said, when she said, I just want to love people. And they were like, she was, she didn't fit in with them. Because I guess when she said that, made me feel like they ain't want to love people or something. But God was showing us all this going on in royalty. But that was a confirmation to me. So if I see that link about that lady, and you should see her, look at the look on her face. Because I'm like, when this woman by herself, she gloomed. But when I paid attention, when she started being with her husband around them, she's changed. You know, it was just confirmation the Lord was showing me about that woman. Because I was like typing up like, what happened to the woman? And then I didn't still know what happened. I know she died. But, um. He didn't, Lord didn't get me into how she died. He just started having me going through looking, stuff just popping up about how this woman, he told me to pay, he said, pay attention to her. So he had me to pay attention to her, how she was, how she acted. And then he popped up there about the royalty, her interview. And she said, uh, they ain't down. She don't think she fit in because they, something about they ain't want her in there because of how she, it's all kind of stuff, y'all. But if I get that link, I'm going to put it at the bottom. But she spoke a lot. Because the Lord told me, he said, pay attention to how she is. He said, listen to her mouth. What she said out of her mouth. Because he was all about us, about talking about the queen and prince last night. So, thank you, Lord. He brought that in my spirit right now. I have to bring this up to y'all. So, I'm going to put that too. But y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. You know what? Things will never be the same. Glorify his holy name. Get your face to the Lord, y'all. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.